An exciting new addition to the Lumix lineup is the XLR2 unit, which when paired with the GH7 allows for 32-bit float audio recording at 96 kilohertz. Now you might be thinking, I'm a camera person, why do I care about 32-bit float audio? Well, let me show you why this is such a great improvement for the GH7 to have. This is an example graph of some recorded audio. The y-axis represents the bitrate and the x-axis represents the sample rate. You can see here that the bitrate is equal to the dynamic range we're able to capture. If sound is more dynamic, we will need more available bits to capture it correctly. If we take just one of these samples and look at the amount of bits, we can tell what bit depth it has. This is a 16-bit word or sample and is commonly found in end-use audio. It has a dynamic range of 96.3 decibels, which can be somewhat limiting if you need to record both quiet and loud sounds in the same take. If we move along to a 24-bit word, this is the most common bit depth for professional audio recording. This adds 50% more bits to the 16-bit word and gives us a dynamic range of 144.5 decibels. This is a fairly usable amount of dynamic range. However, it's still prone to clipping if an unexpected loud sound is captured. You may have experienced this in an interview scenario where someone bursts out laughing, for example. The gain was set for normal talking level, but then this much louder sound comes out of nowhere and it clips your audio, making it sound nasty and unusable. Both 16 and 24 bit audio are fixed point formats. You have 24 bits available that can be either a one or a zero, up to 24 bits and that's it. 32-bit float is fundamentally different from this as instead of being fixed point, it's stored with scientific notation using decimal points and exponents. This is a very large change because it means significantly larger and smaller numbers can be represented and stored using this method compared to the fixed point format of 16 and 24 bit audio. This results in a whopping 1528 decibels of dynamic range making it essentially infinite as there isn't anything on earth capable of exceeding a difference in sound pressure larger than this, let alone your laughing interview guest. One other factor that needs to be discussed is that 32-bit flow is technically capable of negative 758 dB and positive 770 dB full scale compared to its fixed point counterparts whose maximum is zero dB full scale. And then it goes down from there. And this is important because it means you can't clip 32-bit flow audio. It may look as though you have if you import a loud dynamic piece of audio into your editing software, but because 32-bit float has so much headroom, you can apply attenuation to this audio until it's down below zero dBFS and it will reveal perfect waveforms. So in summary, and to be concise, recording in 32-bit flow audio allows you to set the gain and record basically anything with confidence, making clipped audio a thing of the past. There's no need to adjust the gain dial for louder sounds that happen unexpectedly. This makes it a fantastic feature for the solo videographer who may not be able to constantly monitor and adjust the audio levels while recording. On top of this, the new XLR2 unit is capable of recording four channels of audio thanks to the addition of a 3.5mm stereo jack complete with level controls.